Good morning from Tashkent, Uzbekistan. Now, if you ever come here, you're gonna need to know the Russian translation of the word Uzbekistan, which is simply land of the white Chevrolet. Everywhere, 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 it never gets old. In this video, I'm gonna show you the Yangabad market. It is on the outskirts of Tashkent. Few tourists make their ways out here. It is one of the oldest, essentially flea markets in this town. We can find anything from toilets to tubes to old communist Soviet trinkets. And we are gonna see what we have in store here. The driver told me that it's actually kind of boring, there's not much to do here, but we're gonna see if uh, we can prove him wrong. We have a goal today. My goal is to find some Soviet relics. Apparently they're abundant around here, so we're not interested in car parts, we're not interested in ice cream, we're interested in Soviet relics. So maybe you can be useful for once and help me find some. If you make the mistake of coming here only in your shorts, like an amateur tourist, you can come here and you can get some pants. Caitlin Kelly looks like a Calvin Klein ripoff. Caitlin Kelly men's underwear. That's exactly what that is. Those look exactly like the Calvin Kleins I wear. Probably a tenth the price though, and a tenth the quality. <laughs> Now here's the interesting part of Soviet relics. They're actually completely, completely worthless. Entirely worthless. Zero value whatsoever, even in the times that they were given out. Soviet relics were given out for basically bullshit. There was one, they gave out a ve red velvet flag with yellow embroidery to whichever factories produced them more. That was the incentive structure that they created. If you produce the most, you're gonna get this flag, this beautiful flag, saying highest quality, most results of the USSR in whatever province you were in. Now, depending on where you are, if you're in a Western country and you come across one of these Soviet relics, you might pay 100 euro for them, 200 euro for them, but all the people from the USSR know that they're completely and utterly worthless. This is my favorite brand of pants, Adibas. Not bad looking. Здорово. Ooh, неплохо выглядит. Неплохо выглядит. Look, look at those. Look at those манты. Just beautiful. Тоже, а тоже она. Манты, а что это такое? О, это соус для шашлыка? О, I think we're gonna have to come here and eat that шашлык. You saw that red sauce? Let me show it to you again. She left. Well, that red sauce, when you're getting some шашлык, it's like a nice tomato-y based sauce, hint of spices. You can dip the шашлык in there a little bit, eat it. Amazing. Congratulations, my American friend, or my Western friend. Or a friend who just doesn't know about shashlik. You have just learned something today. And since you learned something today, you can subscribe to the channel and comment on this video. А за сколько продаете эти телевизоры? По 100 тысяч. You can get one of these beautiful LG TVs for a mere 9 bucks. <laughs> a mere 9 bucks. It's a bargain. Right now you have to get a, pay a few hundred for a Samsung TV. Those are 9 bucks. You're gonna have trouble carrying it home with you. But I mean, if you have a checked baggage, extra storage space, you know, or some weird deformed baggage, you can get it, easy peasy. Now look at this, this is authentic. My mother has ones that look just like these, and so do I, it's my favorite glass. We've got some Uzbek bananas, but still no nothing with a hammer and sickle. Well, we might have actual hammers and sickles somewhere here among the tools. I mean, I guess when I ask for hammer and sickles and 
God listened, but he didn't provide the right kind of hammer and sickle, you know what I mean? They are not kidding though when they say you can find anything here. Can't say it's a good price. I don't know if I would pay actually $10 for that 30 year old LG TV. But there's gym equipment, there's pots and pans, there's little fans, there's car parts. Hell, there are over here empty soda bottles. See, you can find anything here, anything you put your mind to. Some old school Soviet cinema lights. At the lampочки, да, типа, чтобы снимать что-нибудь. А сколько стоит? Это миллион сто, восемьсот пятьдесят. Миллион, миллион сто. Чего так дорого? Можно на интернете сейчас найти более новые такие за. Это старенькие СССРские, вот. Они даже раб, они даже работают. Лампочка проехала. Oh, that is old school. You see that? SSSR, SSSR. But then the, the guy wants close. He wants about 90-ish bucks for one of these. Okay. Oh, дорогавата. Ладно, спасибо. Too much money. Close to 100. I don't know. There's no way that even works. If you're trying to torture somebody, you have plenty of torture equipment for yourself here as well. Okay, it feels like we are now exiting the era of the manly man tools. Well, they're still here, they're everywhere. And we are entering the era of little kadaskas, little old school baby carriages. The main thing is, everything is super, super, super used. Super used. Everything has rust on it. And the thing is, if these were just old, but not super, super used looking, I could see this being cool. Like, look at this. This is a sick looking chess set, right? But it's used to hell. And that's the problem. We've got some super used flasks. It might be a really good thing that I'm not speaking Russian right now to you, that I'm just talking in English because nobody can understand me saying how used up everything here is. Look at this old school iron. The old Soviet way of teaching a kid not to touch an iron was to get him to touch it. And then they don't want to touch it anymore. Now, when I was just a young little boy in the newly created Russian Federation, I had a little teddy bear, much like this one, but a bit smaller. I went to take a bath. I put a little teddy bear in the bed. I came back. It was gone. <sighs> and nobody knew where it had gone. Maybe the teddy bear ended up at this market. My main question is, who on earth actually buys this stuff though? Who? You can get half of this stuff, if not all of this stuff, for just cheaper, brand new, anywhere you go. Can somebody tell me why it costs so much and why do people come here to buy this for all intents and purposes does feel like a flea market it feels like people just like took all of their shit that they didn't want and instead of throwing it out or storing it they just came to try to sell it and get whatever that they can for it like the prices don't even make sense for most of this stuff so if you meet a soviet person with a bunch of shit that they're not throwing away they're not hoarders they're just waiting for the perfect flea market opportunity on the Yangabad Bazaar to sell it. Okay, we've arrived at the fish portion of the market. Mmm, do you smell that? Whiff it in, whiff it in. For some reason, we've entered a very, very quiet part of the market. You can hear a pin drop here. Okay, this is getting close, a nice old Soviet pot. Old school phones, but those aren't so Soviet. But those phones are very reminiscent of the early 2000s and late 90s. But, no, post-Soviet times. In a weird time when Russia was full of mafia, controlling everything, and Russia essentially had pure 
survival of the fittest as long as you had a gun. There's an old, old urban legend that if you've lost something, it probably ended up at Yangabard Market. And actually, also, if you've had something stolen from you, chances are it ended up at Yangabard Market. A lady just warned me not to hold out my camera because somebody might snatch it. Well, you see the risk I'm taking for you? Now, Yangibad is apparently one of the sketchiest areas in all of Tashkent. Which, I mean, maybe explains why you know, some of, so much of this weird kind of junk is being sold here. Come check out the toilets of this market. Oh, you did that. That was a woman's. А сколько за футбольный мяч? 35. Wow. Okay, so that deflated ball is for a nice sum of about three bucks. You have the opportunity to get that deflated ball for three bucks. You have to grasp it. We may have finally found what we were looking for. I cannot believe it. Oh my god, oh my goodness, we have found a Soviet relic. Look at this, that's Lenin. Oh, beautiful. I'm not sure what this is for, I'll find out, but we have found our Soviet artifacts. We've done it. Only took an hour of walking around, but we did it. All sorts of little Lenin USSR coins. What's this? Is this a USSR clock? I don't know. Okay, we don't need that. Oh, еще больше. Oh, look at this. More little Soviet. Beautiful. Okay, we have found what we came for. Our mission has been complete. Now we just have to decide which of these we're going to want to take home with us. Okay, что это? Let's see what this is. This looks like... Oh, Soviet money. Look at that. Well, that's a Russian flag. I don't know if it's Soviet money anymore. I have to bargain with this lady. She wants a hundred thousand som for this. You're about to witness a negotiation. Well, this is the way. Same this is. Same this is. Okay. You see? This is how you negotiate. Just got this person. I think she's still getting the better of me. For moment, it's still good for you. But it's okay. So we won. We got all this for 70,000. That's like six bucks. You know what? I'll take it. Beautiful. Okay. I think I've just come across the absolute cutest thing in this entire place oh my god little puppies hi you're so cute oh my god katata mao 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 ah привет look two different eye colors ah привет hi Look at you. Okay, I'll tell you what. You really can't find anything in this market. All right. If you like those kittens, like the video, sub to the channel, leave in the comment what you like the best. Some of the junk that you saw, the Soviet relics, or the kittens. All right, see ya. Once the channel hits a thousand subscribers, I'm going to send three of you a Soviet relic for free. So if you like the video, sub to the channel.